Hey Dan, how's it going? Going uh, about as well as I guess it could be going these days. <laughs> this is pretty bizarre, isn't it? A little bizarre. Now, now, which surgery are you performing today? Actually, um, right now I am production manager of the night show uh, here at the Gracie Theater. If you would look over to your left and give a wave, I'm doing the same to you. Yeah, <laughs> backstage here where I normally am when we're doing the night show. But uh, most of the time in my life, I've not always been a teacher. In fact, I'm not really a teacher. I just play one at us in university. <laughs> well, it's funny you say uh, that because I, I knew you as Ebenezer Scrooge before I ever knew you here associated with The Night Show. And I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed getting to know you over the past several years through this show. Um, but I always saw you, first and foremost, as sort of a Christmas time staple uh, with my family playing such a, an amazing role and doing it so well. When is the last time you performed as Ebenezer Scrooge for Penobscot Theatre Company specifically? Uh, for Penobscot Theatre Company, I think it was about 12 years ago. And we had a really great run for many, many years, as you say, 13 seasons. But my first introduction to Dickens and The Christmas Carol was a few years back. Actually, uh, it goes all the way back to 1979, yeah, I'm that old. <laughs> and uh, performance of Scrooge will be number 31. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and this one that you're doing is nothing like the others that you've done. It's completely reimagined. Penobscot Theatre Company has redone their entire season to make it more COVID friendly. This is a lot of at home viewing and it's not just setting up a camera at the back of a theater watching people act. It's work that's being commissioned specifically for this purpose. What what is uh, a Christmas Carol's uh, uh, um, uh, what is a Christmas Carol bringing to that season? It's really interesting because it Barry's done a wonderful job, very uh, Newport at Penobscot Theatre, of putting together this digital season. Our first thought was to do Christmas Carol as a one-person show, which I'd done many years ago. And so it's just one actor on stage, audience, and then a few techies, and that would be great, distant separation. But it didn't quite work out because she did a total digital season. Uh, so now um, we're doing this digital season where we took the one-person version of A Christmas Carol, uh, where I play all the roles and do all the voices, and then we hired the object group from Atlanta to do a puppet version of the show. So they took my voiceovers, and they are building puppets to bring all of it to life. And they've got marionettes and shadow puppets and uh, hand puppets and all kinds of things. They're building uh, a scenery for the puppets to work in. And it's, an, it's a marvelous thing. Um, Michael Haverty, the artistic director of the Object Group, and I spent a lot of time putting together all the different voiceovers for the different characters. And you'd say, no, let's take Marley a little bit more this way, take Scrooge a little bit more that way. But it's still one voice, one actor doing the entire show, but with this host of incredibly creative puppets. So really marvel. Well, and it, it's uh, completely unique, the, the way that this is being done. And I've seen a number of different productions of A Christmas Carol. I heard the radio productions, or at least one of the radio productions that you've done uh, as well. And it seems to me that this is, for people who love the story, it's staying true to the theme of the story, but it's being done in a way that is completely different. So it's, it's keeping the nostalgia, but also modernizing it. Yeah, it's uh, unique in its production, but you don't mess with Dickens. <laughs> so the, uh, the time that I've gotten to know you over the past few years with The Night Show, I think I've been able to see, I've made the connection of what you put in to Scrooge. How much of Scrooge is in you, in your personal life? I would like to think that both sides of him are in me. Uh, <laughs> I, I've got a temper that can really get there sometimes, <laughs> but I think that there's a little bit of the nice Christmas spirit in me as well, yeah, <laughs> especially this time of the year. Well, the show starts streaming at Penobscot Theatre Company's website uh, today, and it's available yeah. through December 27th. And once you buy a ticket, it's good for the whole household, which I love. Um, the ticket Great. price, I think, as a single ticket is $40, but that's for everybody in your house. You don't need to buy four tickets if you have a family of four, and you can watch it as many right. times as you want through the end of the holiday season. That's wonderful, and everyone can get together and keep celebrating the holidays with Charles Dickens.